Measuring skewness and kurtosis. We saw in the sectional distributions that shapes of distributions can differ in skew and or kurtosis. This section presents numerical ways of measuring these two attributes of shape. This figure shows a distribution with a very large positive skew. Recall that distributions with positive skew have tails that extend to the right. Distributions with positive skew have larger means than medians. The mean and median of the baseball salary shown in this figure are 1,183 thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and five hundred thousand dollars respectively. Each unit on the x-axis represents ten thousand dollars. For this highly skewed distribution, the mean is more than twice as high as the median. The relationship between skew and the relative size of the mean and median led to statistician Carl Pearson to propose this simple and convenient numerical way of measuring skew. Remember that lowercase sigma represents the standard deviation. Verbally, this formula reads 3 times the difference between the mean and median divided by the standard deviation. Let's calculate Pearson's index for our baseball example. The standard deviation of the baseball salary is 1,390,922. ,900 Therefore, Pearson's measure of skew for this distribution is 3 times the quantity of 1,183,417 ,100 minus 500,000 divided by 1,390,922, which equals to be 1.47. Just as there are several measures of central tendency, there is more than one measure of skew. Although Pearson's measure is a good one, the measure shown here is more commonly used. This measure is sometimes referred to as the third moment about the mean. Remember, uppercase sigma represents summation, x represents an individual raw score, mu represents the population mean, and lowercase sigma represents the standard deviation. Use this formula when estimating the skew when n is the sample size, m is the sample mean, and s is the sample standard deviation. This measure of kurtosis is the fourth moment about the mean. The value 3 is subtracted to define no kurtosis as the kurtosis of a normal distribution. Otherwise, a normal distribution would have a kurtosis of 3. Although you will probably never have to estimate kurtosis by hand, this is the formula you would use. Most statistics programs and spreadsheets use this formula to estimate kurtosis.